Watch the lights for green. The Portuguese Grand Prix is off. And Alvareto comes out from his line. Uh, Ayrton Senna leads. And it's the Angelis in second place. The two JTS Lotuses lead with Croft in third position with Alvareto in fourth place and Kiki Rosberg stalled at the start. Kiki Rosberg, there he is, stalled at the start. He's got to have a push start. So a dreadful start for the Williams team with Nigel Mansell getting away from the pit lane. And we look now at the leaders as they go round turn three. And it's Ayrton Senna in the JTS Lotus leading a Grand Prix for the first time in his short career. So, Ayrton Senna is finding out what handling of the JPS Lotus is like for the first time on a wet track surface. I don't think it really matters what the Lotus is like. He's got uh, such a prodigious talent. At the end of lap one, Ayrton Senna is leading. And there is one of the Rams. Very difficult to tell apart. And one of the Ferraris, too. It's Stefan Johansson's gone off and with Patrese. Patrese trying to take Johansson on the inside and it was definitely Johansson's line. They've both gone off, Patrese and Johansson. Yes, that was silly driving by uh, Patrese. Quite honestly, he overcommitted himself. The Angelus has got Prost and Alvareto right behind him. Yes, I think um, the back marker was holding him up a little bit and that's given Prost and Alvareto the chance to close up. So now we've got a three-car battle for second place. And we are on lap 10 out of 70. Senna leading, well clear of the field. And Prost now, he's closing. Is he going to go through and take the Angelus in second place? Well, he had a good look there, but the Angelus is moving to the inside of the track to try and make Prost go the long way around. But I think he might have made a mistake. In... Oh, what appalling conditions. And that is one of the Williams cars. I couldn't see whether it was Mansell or Rosberg. It's Rosberg, Rosberg, and look at his car stuck in the middle of the circuit. And they've really got to move that because that's in a very dangerous place. And let us not forget Ayrton Senna, who is quite calmly increasing his lead lap by lap. And the rain, incidentally, is now coming down a good bit harder. Yeah, it's Baldi again. He's had a dreadful race in and out of the pit, spinning off this way, spinning off that way. Now he's gone onto the grass, and he's not only got a very broken motor car, as had Rosberg, but you will have noticed that he put an enormous amount of muck on the circuit. Ayrton Senna has been waving as he went past the pit at the officials to say, stop the race. Now, Senna, and off goes Puff, and regains, and spin, spin. Uh, Alain Puff spins right off, and he's going to be out of the race with a smashed rear wing. And that was on the straight, and Senna, uh, for sure, has done that signal was because he started to aquaplane, and... Uh, Really, the conditions must now be very bad indeed. There goes Alberetto, uh, having a still very close to De Angelis. He's having a look down the inside, and Alberetto is going through into second place at long last. I think he caught De Angelis a little bit snapping then. Yes, indeed. Michele Alberetto on lap 43 goes through into second place taking it from Elio De Angelis, who's held it so well and is now off the course. There it is, there it is. You saw behind De Angelis there the, the McLaren of Lauda and the Williams of Nigel Mansell in his first season with the Didcot team absolutely together. And Mans Mansell is through. Nigel Mansell is up into fifth position ahead of Nicky Lauda. Now, here is Senna, perfectly facing a little bit of toe, and I would think that he'll screw himself up just to go past the Andrews and give himself clear out. Poor old just blinded him by spray then. Well, we've got about a quarter of an hour to go now before the two-hour mandatory stopping of the race will take effect, and in which case we are certainly not going to go the full distance. There is the, the confirmation that the Portuguese Grand Prix is going to be stopped on the two-hour rule. The race official consulting his watch underneath the umbrella. 
protecting his blazer from the rain. And one lap to go, says the official, by holding up his finger as Ayrton Senna goes through. He is now on his last lap, which is lap 67. Out goes the chequered flag, and Senna has won the jubilant Team Lotus Mechanics, and off goes Mansell. And you can see that this usually totally unflappable, imperturbable Brazilian is for once absolutely beside himself with, look at him, both hands waving with joy. I could not see anything in front of me. With the cars going in front, it was impossible to see anything. And you have, and you had to go by because it was a big difference in the pace that I was going. I don't think I've seen a Grand Prix driver quite so jubilant as you when the checkered flag finally came out. What does this mean to you to win your first Grand Prix? It means that all the effort and the years that I have put behind motor racing since four years old are giving me something good back and not just for me but especially for Team Lotus and JPS and uh, to all the Brazilians that cheer me up a lot. The Portuguese Grand Prix will always be remembered for Ayrton Senna and a magnificent victory.